Hi, I'm Elo, and currently I'm training durability. I know this video is a little late, the game came out a few days ago, and I have been playing. I've just been busy. Wait, can I? <laughs> what is happening right now? What is happening? What is going on? I do believe I found the best training area. It's right here, isn't it? In this building. Ain't no one getting here. Does this mean I can also... <laughs> Yo, this is sick. What the hell? I have become a worm. The ground is my home. However, I'm here now. I've been training. I completed a quest earlier. Oh, hello you. What do you want? Kill 10 players? That's so mean. I could never. All right, what's up, sir? I'm back. Kill. Uh. Yeah, no, there's no way I'm going around killing 25 players like that. That would take so long. Which is why. Introducing my alt account. You see, using this brand new technology, I'm able to completely stand still. And my ult will just keep walking into my sword over and over and over. All right, there we go. And the quest is done, finally. All right, hello. I'm going to kill myself. I mean, literally, though. So, except not right now. My phone that my alt account was on is really low and about to die. So I've just been vibing. The first thing I'll mention, of course, is there's two more codes now. The first code being big boy. Like that. I already redeemed it. The second one is super simple. Thanks, 10k. We're getting 10k likes. And once again, I've already redeemed it. The second thing is, yeah, you may notice I only have legendary champions at the most. It's like, oh, yeah, you could be getting mythical ones. You have 37. Th no. You see, recently, Kelvin leaked this new pet that's coming out. That, my friends, is Sid Cogano from The Eminence in Shadow, a.k.a one of my favorite characters of all time. Assuming that he's going to be a secret unit, I am saving up for that. I'm also assuming that Gilgamesh, which I know exists because I saw Kelvin using it. It was in the beta testing version, so I don't know if it exists yet, if it will exist, what. It could be the secret unit already. But either way, what I really want are secret units, apparently. I don't know what Sid is gonna be. I don't know if he's gonna be secret. I don't know if he's gonna be mythic. I don't know if he's gonna be legendary. All I know is that I'm not rolling until they add him and I figure it out. Meaning, until then, I will be saving up my gems. I want Gilgamesh, and I want Sid. If I got them, that means I'd have two of my favorite characters in this game already. And just cuz, why not? In case you didn't see my other Roblox video, here real quick, this is my list of favorite characters. I doubt a lot of them are gonna be added to this game, but you know, especially Kumagawa. No game ever has Ku- But anyways, that's where I've been. I've just been training, uh, looking at the new stuff, finding a bunch of funny glitches. And yeah, I really want them to add durability moves that deal damage. For no reason in particular, I'd like that. All right, clearly I don't think I'm getting into the hospital like this, which means I'm gonna need a fruit that has the potential to break into things. So probably like the spring, f the, the light fruit. Yeah, no, that's what I, that's what I was saying actually. Yeah, the light fruit. Also, recently, I've been seeing a lot of people doing, like, tier lists or ranking the game passes. And I, Elo, the fellow normal citizen that is not a massive YouTuber, am here to tell you the objective, true, best gaming passes. Just going through them in order. Times two coins, really good. If you're going to be playing and AFKing a lot, your coins per minute will be doubled. So right now, I'd only be getting 1,000 coins, but because of it, I'm getting 2,000, which makes it really useful if you're AFKing a lot to upgrade things really quickly because you can just leave it on overnight and suddenly you'll have a bazillion coins. The second objective best one is times two gems. Again, normally you don't get many gems, so getting a little more is still useful. Plus, both of these are good if you plan on buying these because they also double these. So say you were buying the 300k coins. If you have double coins, this would be 600k. If you're buying the 30k gems, if you have the double gems, it'd be 60k. Auto training, objectively, 
bad. It's good if you don't want to download an auto clicker, but they're free and you can just get like tiny task or something. Getting an auto clicker is not that difficult, especially if you have a mobile device. Literally just searching up auto clicker on the app store is normally a good way to just find one for free. VIP is good early on. The pet is really good if you're training sword, but not really anything else. The sword is good for like four swords and then it gets, you know, overshadowed by the rest of the swords you get. And the VIP chat tag is nice and the extra settings are good, but you'd have to spend extra Robux to get a private server in order to even use the settings. So it's all right, but not really too great. Out of these ones, top three are these because pretty much every single quest you're going to get is strength, defense, and energy. Weapon would probably be the fourth one, these two, not useful at all right now. There's only like three speed and jump quests that I've seen, and I am pretty far in the quests. So unless you really hate the speed and jump quests, these are kind of useless, not gonna lie. Half cooldown is really good. You can use moves at double the speed, no limits, not great unless you're gonna be AFKing a lot and plan to upgrade one stat a lot. Like it's good for me, I've already reached the multiplier limit for defense, so if I want to upgrade it again, I need it. But if you're not really going to be upgrading stuff a lot, it's not really useful, so it's kind of mid. Faster flight is useful, but it's not like anime fighting simulator faster flight. You are not going to really notice a huge difference, so it's good if you want to get around slightly faster, but that's about it. Conceal power unless you're trolling or doing a video or something, or just really don't want people to know your stats for some reason, is really useless, especially if you have high stats, because then they can just look at the leaderboard and see it. All of these aren't really passes, and these I don't really have opinions on. I've never bought any boosts. I've just gotten the ones from the codes, and that's about it. But that is my objective, true, and the only right ranking for these by a normal human being that doesn't have infinite Robux. But anyways, that's all for now. Just a small little update thing. Like, subscribe for more anime simulator, which I definitely will be making more videos on. It's just I can't record much right now.